Hello Audacious Church, well I'd love to share a miracle story with you this morning and it's all to do with who you have in your life directly links to how your life unfolds. 1 Thessalonians 5.11 says, therefore encourage one another and build one another up just as you are doing. Something powerful happens when you have the right people in your world, the right people in your proximity, and like we've been learning over the last few weeks, the right people at your table. Pastor Glynn says it so perfectly, show me your friends and I'll show you your future. And it couldn't be more true. So I'd love to share this testimony, this story with you about one of the amazing girls in our church. You see, about six years ago, Johnny and I were running a small group in Swinton in Manchester and one Wednesday night um, a new girl turned up at the door. She'd been to Audacious Church a few times, had been to the Connections Lounge and someone had invited her to our small group and instantly we knew that this person was going to be a part of our family, a part of the fabric of Audacious Church and Abby, who this person is, she... Um, and part of our small group she then became part of our kind of family and helping with babysitting and all these amazing things having coming around for dinner just being a part of our world being at our table and us being at her table and as you know a couple of well a year or so ago we were asked to move to cardiff to plant audacious church cardiff and when we told Abby what we'd been asked to do, little did we know that something had been stirring in her, that there was time for a change in her own life. You see, when you're around people of faith, it will stir faith within your own heart. And what we didn't know is that Abby was going to make this decision to move to Cardiff as well, to plant and be part of the team to start Audacious Church Cardiff. And she did just that. A couple of weeks later, she came and told us that that is what she would want to do. She felt like God had been stirring something within her. And so a few months later, with no permanent home to live in, live in no job to go to other than one that she was transferring from that she didn't really want to do, she made that huge step of faith to leave everything that she'd ever known to go to somewhere that she didn't know to a, a, a house that she didn't really know the people that were there and a job where she didn't know how it's going to work out. And the miracle story is this. It's a few months after arriving in Cardiff, after applying for lots of different jobs, Abby got a miracle job in an online bank that is just more than she could ever dare ask or imagine. And it is the job of her dreams. Not only that, this Friday, she will be moving into a brand new home and for the first time, have her own space that she can call her own. You see, God is so faithful to your obedience. When you step out in faith, and faith is not the absence of fear. Faith is not the absence of worry. Faith is not the absence of of all these different feelings, but it's stepping out despite how you feel. It's stepping out on that call of God in obedience to what he's saying. And when you do that, amazing things happen. So I wanted to share that testimony with you to encourage who is speaking into your life? Who is encouraging you in the things of God? Who around you do you have that are people of faith that are saying, yes, you can do it. You can do that crazy business venture, you can give up everything that you have and go on long-term mission, you can go and start something new, you can go and step out in faith. Who do you have in your world that is encouraging you and building you up? Because I want to tell you that it has such a direct link to how your life unfolds. I want to propose that if Abby had never come to our small group that night, if she'd never been part of never been at our table, if we had never been at her table, I wonder how her life may have unfolded so differently to how it currently is. Who do you have in your world? Who's speaking faith over you? Who's saying you can do it? Who's declaring the promises of God? Who's speaking scripture over your life? Who's telling you to be full of the Holy Spirit and his power? 
because I want to encourage you today, if you don't have those people in your life, you can find them. Why not join a small group? Why not join a team? Why not do Audacious College and give a year to him to see what he can do when you surrender everything and let go of what you think your life should look like? Let's see what God might do in these next few weeks and months. But today, you can make that first step of having the right people in your life and the right people at your table. Just would love to pray for you right now. So God, we thank you so much for your church. God, we thank you for the power of your church, Lord. One body made up of so many different people. And God, I thank you that your church is, is, your, is, is an amazing plan, Father God. We thank you right now, Lord, for the people that are part of Audacious Church, Lord. And we just pray right now, just for that encouragement, Lord, towards each other that we would be a people and a church that would encourage each other in the things of God, that we would build each other up and not tear each other down, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Have an amazing day and we'll see you soon.